Hawk, do you ever read a news headline and say to yourself, there's just no way that this can possibly be real? Absolutely, it happens all the time. This week, we want to test ourselves to see if we can spot the real or the fake NFL headline. At the end, we're going to tally up the score and see who did the best. All right, I'll start with the first headline. Tom Brady admits the Giants are his favorite team to beat. Joe, is that real or fake? I got to say that's fake because he would never admit anything like that. And if he did, it would probably be the Patriots. Yeah, I'm with you. I don't think Tom Brady would admit that he likes being the Giants, especially when the Giants have beat him so much. Cody, what is that? What's the real answer? That headline is true. What? Really? Wow. That's kind of shocking. Tom, it is. <laughs> All right, Hawk, here's for you. Baker Mayfield is going to stop filming commercials because he's described them as off-season distractions. Oh, man. I'm going to go with fake because there's no such thing as a distraction if there's money coming in. <laughs> I'm going to go with fake, too, because he's way too good of an actor, and those commercials are way too funny and popular for him to say anything about them being distractions. Plus, he's probably getting paid more money than Andrew Hawkins is for this episode right here, <laughs> which is like hundreds of millions. That headline is false. Good job. You both got it right. Boom. There it is. <laughs> Titans fan said he'd rename his youngest daughter Bill Cower if the Jets beat the Titans. Uh, I'm going to say false because I'm not exactly sure what connection that would make because pretty sure that Bill Cower played for the Steelers and coached for the Steelers. or played for the Browns, coached for the Steelers. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I, I couldn't exactly tie the connection. Either. I'm going with false. Cody, what we got? That also is true. What? <laughs> If the Jets beat the Titans, I'm naming my kid Joe Thomas. Like, what? That's he was drunk. All right, here we go. Next one. Washington's J.D. McKissick calls Taylor Heineke baby Russell Wilson. Um, I like that because I think Taylor Heineke's got a little bit of Russell Wilson in him. He's kind of got that moxie. He's got that playmaking ability in crunch time, and he can run around a little bit and make some plays. I'm with you. I'm going to go with true because I do like watching Heineke play, and that is something that a player would say to a quarterback to, you know, Boost up their confidence. confidence a little bit. <laughs> Cody, what do you got? Yep, you guys are right. That's true. All right, Hawk, this is one of my favorites here. Uh, TB12, Tom Brady's beauty brand, is uh, beginning to offer anti-aging face cream, dehydrated goat's milk, and a new product line. Oh, man. Uh, anti-aging cream, I would have said yes. Dehydrated goat's milk. I don't, I don't think he's into that. I don't think Tom Brady does dehydration. He wants hydrated goat's milk. He's a, he's a competitor, Joe. Yeah, he wants a hydrated face, but uh, I think the only thing in his face cream is Botox. So I'm saying this is false. You guys are correct. <laughs> that yes. Is yes. Hawk gave me the inside <laughs> track of his years with the Patriots. <laughs> it was a glorious six weeks. All right. The New York Giants to play statue of Eli Manning outside of practice facility. Joe, is that true or false? I feel like that's true because I think Eli Manning is going to make it to the Hall of Fame, but he's not quite the Hall of Fame that you put right outside the stadium. You'd rather put him in the Hall of Fame right outside of your practice facility. <laughs> yeah, they don't really want him on Front Street for whatever reason, but I also agree. I think this is true. Cody, what do we got? This is false. Oh, <laughs> oh sorry, Eli. It was no shade. All right, Hawk. Drew Pearson claims he could mold LeBron James into Hall of Fame receiver if he were to sign with the Cowboys. True or false? This, I think this is true. For whatever reason, uh, Cowboys receivers, former crow Cowboy receiver greats feel like they always play in hand in the next great Cowboys receiver. It's like their responsibility mm. to mold and keep the position going. So I think this is true. Yeah, it's like you've worked with Michael Irvin or something. I, I think it is actually true also. <laughs> you know, us us old guys that used to play always want to try to make ourselves relevant by injecting ourselves <laughs> into the current conversation. And everybody wants to talk lately about, oh, LeBron James, could he have been a Hall of Fame tight end with the Seahawks? Could he have been a Hall of Fame receiver with the Cowboys? Definitely true. You guys are correct. It is true. Boom. There you go. All right, next one. Marshawn Lynch to serve as NFLPA's first ever chief brand ambassador. Oh, man. Um, I think it's false. I love Marshawn Lynch, but I'm not sure NFLPA would want him being their chief brand ambassador. <laughs> yeah, I I'm going to go with true. 
because it says chief brand ambassador and not chief brand officer. And I feel like for the NFLPA, that's something that they would do is create some position to try to get the marketing aspect of it. So I'm going to say that's true. Cody? Oh, you are right. That is true. Oh, man. Good for him. I love I, that guy. He keeps I, I know big my things. union. I should have ghost rid <laughs> my uh, golf cart when I was in college. And I look, well, look what I could have been. Look at it. If you just had any amount of swag, Joe. <laughs> the swag stork skipped over my house when I was born. <laughs> so Chum let's go through the, the results. I have Hawk winning because oh. he got one more correct than Joe. Oh, man. Yeah. My heart has we been also, ripped from my chest. We also agreed on every take except one, Joe. <laughs> yes.